20 years, Tornita Corporation has been a leader in the solid waste compaction field. This experience has been used to develop equipment for use in densifying expanded polystyrene. Our densification equipment works by applying very high pressure on the material. This in turn expels the air and removes the memory from the EPS. No heat or foreign materials are used in the process. This eliminates polymer degradation and makes the densified material suitable for reprocessing. This is the Taranita Densifier Model 80P. The machine has an in-feed hopper, main body, densification ram, and front door. There is also a hydraulic power unit and operator control panel. The operating sequence begins by placing a plastic bag into the loading can. The can is then placed on the front of the machine and the safety gate is closed. Pressing the run button on the control panel causes the front door to lower. Once the door is completely down, the densification ram begins cycling. This causes material in the hopper to drop into the densification chamber. It is then squeezed between the densification ram and the front door. The extremely high force exerted by the ram crushes the expanded polystyrene and drives the air out of the material, significantly reducing the volume. This is a view looking down into the hopper. It shows the ram forcing the material against the front door of the machine. Once the slug reaches the preset size, the machine stops and signals that it is ready to be unloaded. It is unloaded by opening the operator safety gate and pressing the unload button. The front door automatically raises and the densification ram moves forward. This ejects the slug of densified material. The loading can is removed from the machine and the slug is removed from the loading can. The slug shown was produced by densifying 30 cubic feet of loose material. The volume reduction was 40 to 1. The operator can change the machine settings to adjust the slug density and length. This is the model 60X densifier. The machine has an in-feed hopper, main body, densification ram, and a tapered front extension. The machine also has a hydraulic power unit and an operator control panel. Also shown are optional material pre-breaker with blower and material holding bag over the hopper. In this application, large pieces of scrap EPS are being fed into the pre-breaker. They are broken into pieces about the size of golf balls and then blown into the mesh material holding bag hanging over the hopper. They then fall into the machine hopper where they are pushed forward by the densification ram. As the densification ram pushes the material forward, a taper in the front causes back pressure on the ram. This back pressure is high enough to crush the cells in the material and expel the air. This pressure also knits the material together. What comes out the end of the machine is a ribbon of densified EPS. The ribbon can be easily broken off and the pieces neatly stacked for storage or shipment. This skid of densified expanded polystyrene weighs a thousand pounds. It is about 4 feet by 4 feet by 5 feet in size. This allows you to ship 40,000 pounds in a 40-foot tractor trailer instead of 2,000 pounds undensified. For those applications requiring higher throughputs, an optional power feed hopper is offered. This mounts on the rear of the hopper. It pre-densifies the material in the densification chamber, increasing the throughput of the machine by one and a half to two times. Taranita offers a broad range of machine models and sizes. Contact us for the machine which is just right for your application.